Hi, it's Sharon again, and I'm going to show you some of my key rings from the 80s and 90s, and probably even earlier. Okay, this isn't even a key ring, but it's a baby shoe, and look how discoloured it, it's got. It was actually clear. I put a key ring on it, so I made it into a key ring, and I used to have this on my back. This is like a little paint pot purse. The lid doesn't open, but you can open the purse bit at the bottom there. I think there's something inside. Uh, lovely. It's a plaster and a hairband. A cow. Material one. A pair of pink sunglasses. They're so very cute. Look, they work. You can open them, put them on your teddy or something. A shoe. I think this one might be from India. I'm not sure. I haven't been, but someone gave this to me. Again, I haven't looked at my key rings in a while, so I, ha I have no idea. Maybe you can correct me on that. Okay, I think this is a little Canadian um, soldier. Um, I think maybe my parents bought this back for me. So this is a purple Ronnie's um, whoopee cushion, but it doesn't work. It's got a hole in it. Oh, this is my Fort Pop bunny. I entered a colour... I think it was a drawing or colouring competition and I won this as a runner's up prize. And it's the old style foot part bunny. A cute little calculator. Let's see if it works. No, it's been in there too long. Nah. An Orton Towers key ring. It, I think it had a pack of cards in there. A super soaker water pistol. It actually works. I love this. It's really cool. And you put the water in at the top there. Mousetrap game. It actually does have all the parts in it. Let me see if I can open it. Where are we? There. Look, it's got the instructions. And look at all the small little bits. It's even got a little tiny dice and the ball bearing in there. You have to be so careful you don't lose it all. An exciting car medic keyring. Lovely. A kite. Okay, obviously I'm not going to get it all out now, but I'll show you that there's a kite in there. And the strings, whatever part you call that. It's all in there. More cows, one little one and one big one. Um, I think they're from Nikki. Is that how you pronounce it? You might have to correct me on that one. Nikki again. And they're lovely and cute. Mom. My little baby boys just joined me. So, so shall I spoil it and tell you what this is? I'll let you listen. <coughs> I'll let you watch. You can tell what it is, can't you? Hopefully it works. Oh, there we go. Yep, it's a jack-in-the-box. He looks like he's doing a dab or something. Or surfing. <laughs> Get back in there. Yeah. A cute flip-flop flop, flip -flop from Fiji. I haven't been again, but somebody gave it to me. A monkey clear-ish purse. It is meant to be a nice colour, but it's gone off. Uh, Madam Two Swords keyring. I don't know if these they do these anymore. It's quite an old style. Nice shiny keyring from Nissan. It used to be a bit more shiny than that, but it's just been in a bag for a long time. Another cow, a little pot. Let me just see if there's anything inside. Wow, a bit hard to open. Just a sec. No, it's empty after all that. Happy, happy key rings. Actually, yeah, these are quite my favourite, even though they're just plain and basic. They're cute. Okay, I have no idea where I got this. Maybe my mum. I am not in the ABBA fan club, even though I do like them. Boring key ring alert. I think this just came out of a cracker or something. Boring notepad. Another shoe, like a croc shoe. Don't think it's an official. I don't know. Yeah. A wooden elephant key ring. I quite like it. It's nice and polished. Very cute. 
Uh, I think this is the planetarium keyring. I think I did go. Can't remember now. Must have done. A fire extinguisher. I think it actually does something. Let me just see. It's uh, a sharpener. That's what it is. I don't think the top opens. Let's just check. There we go. It is a sharpener. Just to confirm. It's a cap keyring. Uh, something beer. It's actually a whistle. I don't actually want to have a go just in case because it's a bit manky and how cleaned my key rings. Okay, this is from Devon, obviously, and I've been there quite a few times. I don't know if you call this a key ring, but it's like a V Festival bits and bobs. Sorry about the random noises, my little boy in the background. Um, yeah, and it's got an Xbox key ring attached to it because I think they were giving that out for free, but it did light up. But it's obviously not working anymore. I think I've got a few of these, so you might see me showing you again in another video. And I don't know if you can read who was there. Another wooden elephant. Um, this one looks like it's come from a different country. Again, I have no idea where, sorry. A weeny weeny mouse purse. Um, let's see if there's anything in there. Oh, what's that? Let's have a look. Oh, it's nothing. That's nice. Just a random bit of paper. It's probably actually what it originally came with. Cute. Good old Rubik's Cube, even though I can never do them. It does work. Look. It's really cool. But yeah, I can't do it. A roller skate. This is like a retro roller skate. I love it. It's all made properly and everything. Okay, it's a key ring from Corfu and it's got the temperature on there. I assume it works. I have been to Corfu actually. Another roller skate, the cheap and tacky kind that you'll get from a cracker. A little pipe. I love this one just the way it's made really. Um, yeah, well made. Cute little key ring. A turtle from Corfu by the looks of it with a big tag on it. He's cute and soft. Another cow. I don't know if you know what this one does. It's a pooping cow. So you put the sweets in, I think his head, in there. And then I can't remember how he might walk along or something and then he poops the sweet out. Lovely. Okay, so this was one of those gel effect things with the gel going through the little pins and it looked really cool, but it seems to have gone weird. A soldier from London, so I obviously got this keyring from London on one of my days out. A dolphin, I think this has gone off colour, I assume it wasn't this colour beforehand. What's this say? Do you, do you sell? I wonder where I got that from. I think I got it from when I went swimming with the dolphins, you know, on my honeymoon. A cute golf club and ball, well I really like this one, I don't know why, it's just cute again <laughs> okay i think this is just a mix of like cracker key rings like little cheapy plasticky tacky <laughs> yeah a cute little sheep meh a kind of belt buckly type woolly thingy embroidered i really like it and it does that. A ballet shoe. Really sweet. Pointed toe. A post box. Really well made. And it's from Malta. I haven't been there. So someone must have bought that back for me. Okay, this one's really annoying me. Because I can't remember where it came from. Again, someone bought it back. And it's from... A different country and I don't know where. Look, a really cute Etch-a-Sketch. I think I, I keep calling them all cute because they're really small. See, it look, it works. I'm not doing anything special, just a weird line, but hey, it really does work. And it shakes away. Yeah, love it. A little sand timer and it works. I think I had a few of these. I don't know where they've gone. 
And he maybe came in a cracker. Yet another cow. This one broke off its chain. So, yeah, maybe I'll put it in resin or something. Another cracker keyring, an apple, a rubber ducky. Although he's got a bit squashed, I don't know what happened to him. A little purse, what we, it's like a mini bum bag, that's what we call it in the UK anyway. Nothing in there. I don't think I ever used it. Okay, so we've got a word sack cord again. Oh my god, I forgot what they're called. It's a one of those. And a calculator. It's a really cute one. It obviously doesn't work, but the buttons push in and that. Even though it's tacky, I like that one. An IBM computer keyring. I think my dad might have got this from his work or something. Remember Cheers, the programme? Well, I think my mum and dad might have bought me this one. I really can't remember. A little toolbox. I suppose you can use it to repair your glasses with. Yeah. I think he came from Cornwall. He did actually break from his chain, which is a shame. A football shoe. It's even got the studs on the bottom. And the keychain broke off, so I put a paper clip on there. I don't think this is my one, but it got just added to my collection anyway. Okay, another globe. I think I did show you a globe amongst some other things I showed you. It's Gromit from Wallace and Gromit, although he's gone really weird. If you squish him, he's going to fall apart. It's, uh, yeah, yuck. Another roller skate. Yay. A lovely hairbrush. Oh, I think this is my favourite. Can you hear it? Oh, it's Fisher Price. Fisher Price, baby, push a long toy popper thing it's really cute and it's got a little tag on it for some reason i love these keeping in the same theme look another push along fisher price and it's jingly oh it's so cute i love these i love them so much guess who this is meant to be it's robbie williams yeah, it doesn't really look like him. Hey, it's Bart Simpson. I love watching The Simpsons. I really like these wooden things at the time. Little Robin look. I think I got it on holiday. Okay, one of the first of many Cabra's World key rings. I even kept this one in the packet. I haven't even been to the Cabra's World that much, but love it. An old car keyring. I think someone took me literally when I said I collect keyrings and they just give me any old thing. I think that says Ford. A cheapy cracker keyring again, I think. And nothing in there. It's a shame they don't last very well. This one's a fortune teller one, but the liquid inside has gone down a bit and you can't really tell which fortune you're getting. Boring one. Bat for cable? Don't know what that means. Okay, I think my parents bought them this bat from Holland or something. It's a little bell. I don't know if you can hear that. A dartboard key ring. I think this was a freebie from Elle magazine. Another rabbit from Fort Park. So let's try and find the other one and we can compare them. There it is. Oh, no, yeah. See, that's the old one, that's the new one, but I'm sure it's probably changed again. Trolls from first time around. This was like a key ring with my name on it. Cute troll on it, and just a little description about my lucky charm. He <laughs> cute. A boring glow and dark star. More boring, one of those. A lottery number selector key ring and yeah the balls look a bit funny there's like half balls in there and stuff not sure where I got this from it's kind of cute Do you have googly eyes on it yeah okay that's the end of part one because my camera overheated believe it or not um, don't forget to look out for parts two and three. If you subscribe, then you will be notified. And please like if you do like. Bye.